Hi, um, I'm Anne Ogden Gaffney and welcome to the Cook For Your Life YouTube channel and as you can see I'm wrestling with a big fat piece of mozzarella because I'm going to be making some pita bread pizzas. Now I'm going to be making them with artichokes and olives and we're going to top it with a little arugula salad. Now the kind of artichokes we're going to be using are these guys, not necessarily this brand, and, but these are ones that are packed in water and they're not pickled in vinegar like, or oil like a lot of um, artichokes are. And so this is what you need to look for and you, and you can use canned or you can use frozen artichokes but I like canned because they're always there when you need them and you can use them for a lot of other things as well. So we're going to, these have already been cut in half but I'm going to cut them into half again into, into quarters. Okay. I mean this takes all the agony out of artichokes and these are canned artichokes like this, you know, once they're drained you can use them, you can roast them with potatoes, they're really kind of great. Now, I've just got ooh, this on here, so I'm going to make two, though the, what we have here is probably, you could probably make four with, so let's cut another bit of that. Okay, so I have here some um, quick tomato sauce from, from our website. Now this is really basically all it is is canned tomatoes with garlic and olive oil and it's one of the easiest quickest pasta sauces you can have and it freezes really well and it's also really great when you're making these pizzas. Now one of the great things about using a pita bread as opposed to pizza dough is that first of all you don't have to you don't have to uh, roll it out or do any of those kinds of things with it. Also you can just keep a stack in your freezer and then just use them as you need them. They freeze so well. So I can do a little bit more. This has already got quite a lot of garlic and stuff in it. So. Now onto this, I'm going to be scatter some of the, well basically no, I'm just going to put my toppings, kind of how I want them. And so we've got the artichokes here, really yummy. Maybe I'll cut one more, oh, this little one here, oh, there's one hiding. And now we've got some capers and some pitted, these are oil-cued olives that have been pitted. Looks great already, you know? One second. So, I mean these are looking pretty pretty already. And the thing is that, you know, pizza always, people say that being so unhealthy but you can make a little pizza like this with pretty good ingredients. Right, now we're going to put some capers on too. These are all going to add salty tanginess, which I love. Love me a caper. Okay, now I was going to put these to one side and then I was going to put, cut some cheese to put on top. So we're going to be putting like the cheese on top. So now all I'm going to do with these is to put them um, under the broiler but far down. 
Now if, um, if the pita breads are frozen, what I usually do is put them on the parchment sheet in the oven with a little bit of olive oil on top and then I just heat them up until they are, until they are uh, ready. So I'm just going to put this under the, in the oven to broil.